Lost in the dust. When I was four years old, I got lost in daddy's wheat field. Mama had taken me outside while she hung sheets on the line to dry. As soon as she hung up the first one, she lost sight of me on the other side of it. I went running into the wheat, which was taller than I was. Once I got into it, I couldn't find my way out. Mama yelled to daddy for help. He located me deep in the wheat by following my cries. By the time I was 10, there was no wheat at all. Years of droughts and dust storms had destroyed our fields. The soil dried up and blew away, and nothing was left but hard patched ground. Not even weeds could grow in it. The ruined fields were awful to see, but the dust storms were downright terrifying. We could spot them darkening the skies from miles away. If a storm approached while I was at school, Mama would rush over in the car to drive me home while Daddy scrambled to get the cows into the barn. One storm moved in so fast that Daddy couldn't find his way from the barn to the house, so he turned back and waited it out with the cows. After that, he tied a guide rope between the barn and the house to help him find his way through the blinding dust of a storm. I came to hate the wind. It seemed to mock us cruelly. It didn't carry rain clouds our way. Instead, it just scooped up the dust piles and threw them somewhere else. Even on calm days, the dust hung in the air. We smelled it, tasted it, and felt its grittiness on our skin. Mama had to abandon her backyard clothesline and set one up in the cellar, but somehow the dust drifted down there too. After three years of droughts, Mama urged Daddy to leave the farm and move to California, but Daddy disagreed. He was unwilling to give up on his wheat fields. He did not believe our terrible luck could last much longer. As it turned out, the droughts dragged on five more years. Somehow, we managed to survive. Number six. According to the details in the article, which of the following ideas are most likely true? Choose two. A. The author's childhood was challenging. B. The author's mother was not able to survive. C. The author's father was stubborn to not move. D. The droughts were worse in other places. E. The author preferred dust storms to thunderstorms. F. The author didn't want to move. Number seven. Approximately how many years of droughts did the writer's family survive? A. Four. B. Ten. C. Eight. D. Three. E. Five. Number eight. In paragraph two, the author uses a word to mean completely dried out. Underline the word that best shows this meaning. By the time I was 10, there was no wheat at all. Years of droughts and dust storms had destroyed our fields. The soil dried up and blew away, and nothing was left but hard patched ground. Not even weeds could grow in it. Number nine, what is the main idea of lost in the dust. Use details from the passage to support your response. Look at the statement below. Once I got into it, I couldn't find my way out. Mama yelled to daddy for help. He located me deep in the wheat by following my cries. Number 10. What can the reader infer about the wheat farm? A, the reader can infer that the wheat fields bring in lots of profit to the family. B, the reader can infer that the wheat fields is really large. C, the reader can infer that all the crops on the wheat fields are dying. D, the reader can infer that mama and daddy are upset with the boy.